cool because roots, you think that there's something that goes into the ground, but these vanilla roots, they actually cling onto the trees and they can photosynthesize and bring energy to the plant. And when they actually are sprayed, they can turn green and they look very cool and reflective. And the, uh, as I said before, these roots, they don't actually go into the ground and they get uh, all their nutrients from when birds poop onto the leaves or onto the trees, they actually get the nutrients from there and whenever it rains, it gets water from that. He's, he's still talking. We went through the whole commercial break and he is still talking. This is Solkop. He's only 12 years old, guys, and he is quite the plant expert. So we thought, why not bring Solkop in to the UC Davis Conservatory and link him with Marlene, the plant lady? I don't know who can battle the longest or who can talk the longest. I don't know. It's, it's, it's a toss-up, Marlene. I may need a nap. Yeah. You know, he's young. <laughs> I'm getting up there. I'll let him do. I'll let him take the reins. This is so exciting. So we walked in and immediately he starts recognizing plants and starts immediately spitting out facts. Have you ever seen such a young plant expert so excited about plants? You know, I must say that I haven't seen him at this age, which I absolutely love, but some of our new stu student workers have been gardening and are in phenomenal experts. So oh. we're talking 18, 20 year olds who just are amazing. So when you get to school, you're going to come here, and then you'll work here, right? And then I'll retire, and then you take over my job. How do you feel about that? Uh, I feel excited. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and show some video. Let's talk about your journey as a gardener. What is it about gardening, Songkhalp, that you love so much? I love the fact that nature responds always in a positive way, and these plants, you can talk to them, and they won't give you back answers, I guess. They're not like teenagers, right? They're not like me. They're not like you. You don't do that, Song Cop. You don't do that. Um, so we had a, when we first met you, we were talking about your giant pumpkin, Punkius, which went on to actually win at the big pumpkin way off at the nut tree. What did your pumpkin come in at? It actually came in at 472 pounds. And I was really excited. I actually got first place in the Future Farmers category. That's so cool. That's so cool. Um, we also have video of your YouTube channel, just like Marlene. You have a YouTube channel. What's the YouTube channel called? It's actually called Green Thumb Gardening, and I've been posting on there since about two years. I put my first videos, I think, almost four years ago. And I like sharing my passion on there. I want other people to understand that even if they are, the everyone can, uh, can grow their own green thumb. And you might say, I don't have a green thumb. You could, you, all you need is a little bit of hard work and dedication, and you can grow your own green thumb, even if it's brown right now. It, my, my thumb is brown. I need to grow a green thumb. So it's kind of nice to be in the presence of both you and Marlene. Now, again, walking through the conservatory, what was your initial response? I just thought that this is a jungle or a set. I mean, it, was, it just looks so cool. I mean, I've never seen something this cool. I've only seen it in the movies. So I was very excited looking at something like this. And it was just like a jungle. I mean, there's this air plant. Well, how many years old is, is this? Oh, this one's probably about maybe five years old. I mean, yeah. there's a five-year-old air plant. I can't keep mine alive for without spraying them every day. Yeah, you know, I can't even keep the little snake plant alive, dude, in my house. That's crazy, right? Um, so obviously, it's so nice to be just, uh, again, just a wealth of knowledge between the two of them. So you have a few questions about the air plant, right? I'll let you go ahead and ask Marlene. So I was wondering, is this connected to the tree or... No, remember when you came in, you know what part's lacking, right? What part does this plant not have? It doesn't have roots. It gets all of the nutrients from the water, the, from the rain that comes. It gets the nutrients from that. And I just also get uh, nutrients from like poop and all like for, from birds. You got it. As many times as we could say poop, we love it. But what is it doing now when it's raining and it's green? Uh, I'm, it reflects light. Or remember you, earlier you said it photo. It photosynthesizes. Yes, there right. we go. Yes, song cop, everybody. My goodness. Between the two of you, I don't know who's more knowledgeable. What do you think? I think she is. I mean, I, no, she's been to college for this. <laughs> <laughs> So, so coming up, guys, we're going to teach him the word bodacious, if you know what I'm okay, saying. But okay. also, we're going to do a little, a little pop quiz. So, Marlene, you have a series of questions ready for him to see if he could just launch, launch out all the, all the answers. I do, but I'm afraid he might take both of our jobs. <laughs> He's definitely well, more, more well-spoken than I am. All right, do me a favor. Since you're going to take my job, take the microphone and toss it back to my anchor. Do you know what that means? Uh, back to you. Okay, back to you. Thanks, guys. I think I'm safe. I think I'm safe. Marlene should be concerned. <laughs> <laughs> nice work, my friend. Oh, man. They are, the two of them together, oh, so they funny. need their own show. Yeah. Like, for mm -hmm. real. Yeah.